Yes, uh, well we did do a diagram for Source Full of Secrets. Uh, I couldn't draw it now, I have no yeah. idea what it looked like, but I yeah. think we, uh, the significant thing about it was that we did actually have a plan that there were three movements to it, that there was this uh, introduction, introductory section with a lot of um, sort of very, there was some interesting sort of experiments I think. We did quite a lot of things trying to hit, beat a symbol and then dipping it into water which gives you a very odd sort of sound. And we also did a lot of very close miking. So you get a lot of tone coming off the cymbal and then very gentle beating so that you, you don't get crashes at all. It's just a sort of more a hum, I think. Um, so there was a sort of fairly interesting uh, sort of experimental period, I think, with, with that. Um, but I think my view has always been that Source Full of Secrets was a very important album in our development because it marks the point at which Sid Barrett is leaving or has left. Um, and that also make it, we move away from any of that English pastoral gnomes and fairies and bikes and so on. And it sets, sets the scene for things that come up on metal and maybe Dark Side and certainly Wish You Were Here. Whereas I think the two intervening albums, which are um, Atomar Mother and uh, Umaguma, are, are much more uh, sort of tran uh, not transitory. They're, they're cul-de-sacs. That uh, Atomar Mother was a very a special album that went one in one direction with the orchestra, with Ron Giesen uh, assisting. Um, but it's not something we revisited afterwards, in my opinion. Um, so it's. For that reason, saucer for me is always quite an important.